it's Lee here. Today I'm gonna um, answer a very important question from my DIY ombre video using the L'Oreal kit and it's a very common question. Everyone has been asking me about how to fix brassiness and brassiness is when you dye your hair and it brings up a more orangey red tone. This happens a lot to those who have darker hair which I have. Which I have really naturally black hair so when I did ombre it made it super brassy and I hate that so a way to fix that problem is to tone it and tone it is really easy really simple it's just like dyeing your hair and the toning that I have to get is an ash color tone that's what I've been telling everybody ash is a cool tone hair dye and by applying that onto the warm tone it kind of counteracts it and makes it more neutral color so pretty much to start it off, I will use this L'Oreal um, Medium Ash Blonde to tone down the ombre I had at the end. And I will add this Red, red Gold Corrector Plus to this solution and put it all over my hair. This helps to, the purple is um, helps to lessen the brassiness and finally to fix more brassiness you just buy a purple shampoo and this purple shampoo you can use I think a couple of times during the week and put it on it helps to brighten the hair and to keep it from turning you know the brassy color and that's pretty much it so I'll get started with the video so of course I made myself my cool trash bag t-shirt so that it won't get on any of my clothes then I begin sectioning my hair into three horizontal sections and clipping the rest on top of my head now it's time to mix the toner I use the L'Oreal medium ash blonde and in it there's three bottles I then follow the instruction and open bottle number one then I also open bottle number two and pour the whole thing into bottle number one recapped it and began shaking it really well so that everything is nicely mixed in there now it's time to start the dyeing process i grab about an inch two inch thick of hair and as you can see the ombre starts a little bit lower but i'm just going to add the toner a little bit higher than where the ombre line is because there's no definite line between the two colors it's a gradual look so just kind of wing it nothing has to be perfect just make sure that you saturate your hair with enough hair dye in it I'll repeat the same process for the second layer and finally on the top layer of course the bottle's gonna have extra hair dye left in it so I decide to just make sure everything is completely covered and add more onto the hair strands and pretty much that's it time to wait So here's how my hair looks like after leaving it in for about 30 minutes with the medium ash blonde and it's pretty exact uh, color of the box and um, if you want it a little bit lighter you can always use a lighter ash color such as a light ash blonde or a very light ash blonde but try to stay within the ash tone because ash color it's like a slight greenish color neutralizes the orange that results from bleaching. So I actually washed it out with a purple shampoo and this one is for the blonde and silver which helps to um let me see it brightens the hair refreshes the blondes and keeps it from turning brassy too fast so you can choose to use this every day or you can use it a couple times a week whatever is up to you sorry about that <laughs> but um yeah so i used this and after i washed this out i used the uh, deep conditioner that came with the box and left it in for about 10 minutes or so just to help heal the hair a little bit because you know how damaged it is from the ombre and also from the toning so um, with the ombre I had re redid my ombre about a month ago and used the lightest color box and it really helped to lighten it here's my darker color on top and it lightened it about three or four shades which I really do recommend to most of my viewers nowadays because a lot of them have tried the exact color that it says you know if you have medium brown hair you should try the medium brown box but the results only gave you about a couple shades lighter and it's not too dramatic of a difference so if you want it much lighter always try the lighter color box because 
it's easier to have a lighter bleach hair and then tone it down with a darker color than to have a hair that's not bleach light enough and then trying to lighten it with a toner it doesn't work that way and it's, it's a little bit harsher on your hair when you do it like that so definitely use the lightest box which I recommend because that's what I did if that's the color that an outcome that you like I mean it still has a little bit of a warm tone in it but it's much more neutralized if you remember before I did this at the beginning it's much more orange and this is way nicer and something I really love and um, if you have any questions feel free to always write to me or comment me down the box below and I will help you as much as I can thank you so much for watching XOXO bye don't forget to check out my DIY video using the Wild Ombre Farrier Box and the links are actually down below in the description box. Well, but for $10, this is a really good deal. It works. It's like bleach in a bottle that you can use at home.